It is Monday, October the 3rd, 2011, uh, post-Mississauga Judicial Inquiry report release. And uh, I just want to read a statement that I made yesterday, and I want to just put it into the video record. So I begin. Given all the hype in the papers right now about the release of the Mississauga Judicial Inquiry report tomorrow, you would be forgiven if you believed that its contents actually mattered. In the Mississauga News article, report could be a game changer. Don't believe game changer for a second. Remember, we are dealing with a commission that actually allowed Hazel McCallion to delay the release of this after Labor Day report until the mayor had successfully installed yet another puppet councillor into the Ward 5 council chair. There are those who argue that the mayor didn't just flee to Brazil to delay the report, the line that the mayor's lawyer is warbling. In the Mississauga News article, Inquiry Report Delayed, reporter Louis Rosella informs us that, quote, McCallion's trip is part of the Greater Toronto Marketing Alliance trade mission to Brazil, which has been in the works since last fall, said the mayor's lawyer, Liz McIntyre. Last fall is fall 2010. Yet neither McCallion nor McIntyre respected Inquiry Commissioner Douglas Cunningham and his commission counsel enough to inform them of this trip until mid-August. Then there's this pathetic statement in the Mississauga News, once again courtesy of the mayor's lawyer, who said that her client is looking forward to Monday's report. Quote, we expect the recommendations will provide useful guidance to municipal officials across the province, she said. We hope that the commissioner takes a fair and balanced approach, carefully considers the evidence that was presented, and makes findings based on the standards for elected officials that were reasonable and knowable at the time. Makes findings based on the standards for elected officials that were reasonable and knowable at the time. Shameless, absolutely shameless. It's not just possible to scrape lower into the bottom of the barrel than Liz McIntyre's makes findings based on the standards for elected officials. Reminder, this isn't just an elected official. This is the iconic Hazel, best mayor in the world, McCallion, whose, quote, best, best city in Canada. Canada, loves to remind all other municipalities that Mississauga, quote, leads Canada in management. Hazel McCallion and her Mythosaga Inc. routinely trumpet a lot of bests. Until, of course, events threaten to hold them accountable for best. Then these cowardly hypocrites wilt and hide behind makes findings on the standards for elected officials that were reasonable and knowable at the time. As for the mayor's lawyer's use of the weasel phrase, were reasonable and knowable at the time, no offense to weasels. Here's another reminder. This is the mayor who goes on forever about how we are the best. Let's keep Mississauga right up there at the top. We are the best, no question about it, and we just have to convince others that we're the best. I know the citizens know we're the best, but it's important to convince those outside of Mississauga that we are the best. And we must set an example. Not to mention the city of Mississauga's mantra, trust, quality, excellence. In their August 2011 commentary, Hazel's Revenge, Mississauga News reporters had this to say about Mayor Hazel McCallion. Quote, politics is a dirty game, and when you've been in the business for 50 years, you pick up a few tricks along the way. Tomorrow will reveal whether McCallion's latest makes findings based on the standards for elected officials that were reasonable and knowable at the time trick worked. Will Justice Cunningham judge McCallion's conduct as just an elected official? Or as Canada's most influential mayor, who's had over three decades of practice, pretending to get it right. As for the inquiry's recommendations regarding municipal governance in this province, read the Globe and Mail's article, McGinty Courts McCallion in Battle for Ontario Suburbs. McGinty knows only too well that the fabulous Hazel McCallion isn't one for rules, let alone optics. McGinty also knows that not only is Mississauga her town, her rules, but it's also Hazel McCallion's province. Inquiries, recommendations authentically implemented? 
Don't know about you, but I'm not that stupid. Turning camera off. There's been great improvements in our public relations. Uh, I can see a major advancement uh, in the many pamphlets that you've produced, etc. But also communication with the press, etc. is so important. Uh, we, uh, we don't get in the press too often. I hope we don't get in negatively. Uh, but uh, you've made every effort to try to... I noticed that the Toronto Star is coming up with a new GTA page. I don't know if you've been in touch with them to find out what it's all about. But uh, I hope that we will have a prominent, positive uh, item in that uh, Toronto page because it does go across the GTA. I think of all the wonderful things we're doing in this saga. It's hard to get publicity. They love that publicity, the papers. They don't like good publicity, unfortunately. But uh, I know you're working hard to promote all the wonderful things we're doing in Mississauga uh, for the good of the citizens. Uh, I want you folks to know that you don't get an 87% response from the citizens that they're happy with what we're doing if you folks weren't doing a good job, the staff of the city. So uh, congratulations to all of you. Keep up the good work. Let's keep Mississauga right up there at the top. We are the best. No question about it, and we just have to convince others that we're the best. I know the citizens know we're the best, but it's important to convince those outside of Mississauga that we are the best. Thank you very much for your contribution.